Right, um, hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, here I am again, I wanted to uh, do a video today about uh, Trump and uh, the USA. Um, clearly the country is going through a significant and important time. So I wanted to just bring a little bit of um, astrological uh, clarity um, to what's happening at the moment. So the, the first thing, uh, I'll start with Trump um, and then I'll, uh, second part of the video, I'll talk about the, the US as, as a whole. So at the moment, uh, Trump is not going through uh, an easy period astrologically. Um, first and foremost, you have Neptune, uh, who represents uh, unity and spirituality, um, and wants uh, cosmic union is, is having a, a square to Trump's uh, sun and moon, which, uh, which are in opposition because he was born during a full moon. So that is uh, creating a sense of uh, delusion. That's often the case with Neptune. Things become very blurry. Things don't become clear, things are confusing, there can be false beliefs. Um, all of that is, is clearly uh, happening uh, at the moment. Of course, uh, that's not to say that uh, maybe there wasn't any irregularities in the election. But until proven otherwise, um, this belief, which is really what uh, Neptune is about, um, in the fact that perhaps the the elections were rigged in one way or another is what is affecting uh, uh, Trump uh, in a very strong way. And uh, that's what happens with Neptune, is, is the beliefs become very, very entrenched, even if not proven. And so um, it, is, it is very difficult to to see things clearly with this uh, transit. This transit will last until December 2022. Um, so that's still uh, a long way off, two years still of that transit for uh, Trump. The way obviously to integrate that transit ideally would be through a spiritual awakening of some sort. Um, we'll see if that happens with Trump or not. Um, very uh, hopeful on that side, but who knows? Um, but certainly it's going to affect his uh, ability to recognize reality for what it is. Um, on top of that, there is uh, Pluto has been opposing uh, Trump's natal Saturn. Natal Saturn um, represents responsibilities and Pluto, wherever it goes uh, as a transit, uh, calls for change and calls for evolution. So responsibilities will change uh, for Trump. And so his uh, Saturn, which is in the 12th house of his chart, so um, relates to the collective. Uh, so his responsibilities towards the collective um, are going through uh, significant change. Uh, so that also doesn't bode well for a second term of Trump. Additionally, uh, transiting Saturn is opposing Trump's Venus. Uh, Trump's Venus rules his 10th house. The 10th house is a house of career. So Trump again is saying your career needs to be ordered, needs to be put into order, needs to be, uh, you need to take uh, your responsibilities and uh, that may mean uh, changing uh, your responsibilities or, or if you have not been exercising your responsibilities well then Saturn says, right, now you're going to change job or, or there may be a change of career uh, direction, uh, usually with, with Saturn opposing your ruler of your 10th house. So 
uh, again, that's another sign that uh, Trump may not uh, have a second term. Additionally, there is more. Uh, the progressed ascendant of uh, Trump has is just about to move into Scorpio, into the sign of Scorpio. Uh, Trump's ascendant in his natal chart is Leo. Then uh, after Leo, it's gone through uh, Virgo, it's gone through Libra. And now, uh, and in Libra as well, he has his Jupiter, so it's been a good time for him. Uh, while the his progress ascendant was in Libra, which uh, was the last uh, 30, 20, 30 years. Um, yeah, about 30 years. And now he's just moving into Scorpio where he doesn't have any signs. Any planets, I mean, sorry. And that means, basically, he's not going to be having the help of Jupiter. So that means maybe he's not going to be able to uh, be... Th things are not going to be that easy for him. And and in in, um, in Scorpio, he may need to face some harsh realities. Uh, that, that, that's the nature of, of Scorpio. So um, that also points towards a big change coming now. Um, that the Progress Ascendant is moving this month into uh, Scorpio and then um, last but not least uh, 14th of December uh, eclipse um, which is happening uh, directly on uh, Trump's uh, moon and sun so eclipses usually denote uh, a change of direction in life and especially when they happen within one degree of uh, your sun or moon, so which is exactly what's happening uh, for Trump. So again, uh, another sign of a big change of direction. So uh, based in astrology, you could say that uh, there are many, many signs pointing to the fact that Trump will not have a second term. I mean, we're clearly seeing that in the news already, uh, but just in case there was any doubt of that still, it's... Um, it's pretty certain that he won't be in a second term unless obviously maybe some irregularities are proven with regards to the election but that seems uh, very difficult uh, especially when we are moving into um, uh, the era of Aquarius on the 21st of December um, we are moving into 200 years of uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunctions in air signs, starting with Aquarius. And that means that the, the majority, human, uh, Aquariusism is very much a sign that relates to the majority and, and the, majority, the will of the majority will not be easily uh, changed. Um, and so we've seen today uh, that the Supreme Court in the US has ruled that it will not uh, contemplate um, uh, ruling out uh, a lot of the votes of four of the states that Biden won and, and so siding with the majority or with at least uh, the apparent majority and the fact that the, the, the majority that has been ruled or counted by um, in the election. So that all points to the fact that, yes, um, we're going to have most likely a Biden uh, term from the 20th of January. Now, um, what does that mean then for the US? How is the US as a whole going to fare uh, next year? Um, well, uh, there are a few important uh, transits as well for the US. We have the Neptune as well is affecting the US's Mars, natal Mars. That means there is going to be a sense of frustration, a sense of around the country a sense of like uh, want to do things but cannot do anything a bit of anger uh, that can even lead to false beliefs or accusations or even in extreme cases a coup d'etat um, but I don't think there is going to be uh, open violence or another civil war or anything like that but there could definitely be uh, more violence in the streets of the US especially 
um, early next year when we're going to have also Mars conjunct Uranus squaring Jupiter on the 20th of January, the day of the inauguration. So that uh, bodes for a term for uh, Biden, which is going to be particularly uh, even violent, could be definitely with a lot of protests around. It's not going to be an easy uh, term and it's going to start pretty um, in a difficult way. And maybe even on that day, there could be uh, quite significant violence, uh, perhaps even an, an, an attempt to assassinate or to, or to kill uh, people uh, in um, positions of authority. So um, let's see what happens there. But yeah, it's, it's going to be um, quite a uh, difficult start. Um, also, uh, next year, uh, Pluto is going to be conjuncting the moon of the US. Now, this is very significant because the moon represents uh, the people in a country, uh, in a country's chart. So when you have Pluto conjoining that moon, uh, transiting Pluto there, means there's going to be a deep transformation of the people. And it's going to be an emotional transformation because that's what the moon re represents. And there could be deep secrets, deep things, deep issues which were buried within the psyche of the country coming out, coming out. So old wounds coming out. It could be that... Um, the racial injustice that has been in the U.S. still and which the U.S. is still um, fighting to come to terms with um, will will be at the forefront of things. And there will be another, uh, as we've seen with the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, there is still some, some wounds to be healed there. So uh, it's going to be an intense, definitely intense and transformative time for the country uh, next year and uh, the following year as well, 2022, when Pluto has, uh, it's, it's the Pluto return. So it's going to be the first Pluto return of the US um, since uh, founding of the country. So that could be as well very uh, transformative. Now, uh, last but not least, uh, we have Saturn squaring Uranus uh, next year, starting February. That is linked with uh, crises often and economic crises. So I don't think the um, vaccine is going to bring complete, okay, now everything is fine, we can move on and the economy is going to just recover fine from from here, I think uh, we still have um, next year a year of economic difficulties, perhaps uh, even stock market uh, crash or, or uh, if not a crash like we saw in March of this year, definitely a, a bear market uh, happening. So uh, it's going to be definitely a, a very, very interesting 2021. Very different to 2020. Yes, we will not be, have that heaviness of Capricorn that has characterized 2020 and the limitations that came with it. It's going to be, it's going to very much feel like a new beginning and, and new horizons opening. But like with all new uh, chapters, um, there comes it, they, they come with a fight with the old. So that the old is still going to fight for survival and it's going to fight with the new. So that's going to create some uh, tensions in the air next year. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, hope that was um, interesting and stay tuned because I'll be doing more videos uh, soon. Hope uh, you all take care and speak soon. Bye.